Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Roger here. Today, I'm going to show you guys my most rarest Ed Sheeran CDs that I've got in my collection. And let's get on with the video. So my first Ed Rare CD is Ed Sheeran self-titled album. Ed Sheeran from 2006 right here. Ed Sheeran, the original copy. And I've got it literally today with me recording of this video. Ed Sheeran, and also, I don't think you can see it properly, but the original disc with Sheeran Luck and all that on it. Yes, wow. And also, I'll show you guys the, Ooh. Or the, come on, or the inlay lyrics. It, it looks like he's eating a takeaway there. Yes. Wow. Oh, Ed's writing a song right there. Can you see it? I don't think you can. Yeah, there. It looks like Ed's writing a song. In memory, Ed playing guitar there. Yeah, there. And also on the p it looks like Ed's on a piano as well. It's very hard to see. I don't know why. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just going through this book quickly. Wow, look at that. Wow, it looks epic. That does. I just love Ed here. Just looks like <laughs> oh, lighting's awful. I'm so sorry. I hate lighting. Here we go. Yeah, that looks, yeah. There we go. This is really rare as well. Showing you guys. Wow. This is amazing. This lyric book. One, I think this is my personal favourite. I don't know. Because it's, you know, unseen photos by Ed on here. It isn't folk. Oh, here we go. That's better. Here we go. You can see it better. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. And then I think that's Jethro Lone Star Sheeran. The, Ed, looks, Ed looks like he's a songwriter. The documentary songwriter. Eh, there. And Jethro, a Lone Star Shearer in there. He also commented on one of my videos as well. A Lone Star. And then Ed. There as well. Some unseen photos of Ed in, in this lyric book as well. Ed Sheeran, self-titled. I love that blurry, blurry face, Ed. <laughs> It's one of my pilots reference, blurry face, but we're on about Ed Sheeran here. My favourite artist of all time. Yes, I literally got this today. Ed Sheeran self-titled album from 2006, independently released. Love it. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next, next one. next one is Wantsome, the original copy of Wantsome right here. Wow, Wantsome. By Ed Sheeran, no fancy lyric lyric book, sadly. Just as the credits of of the album. Wow, yeah. There's eleven tracks on Monsum. I think there's eleven or twelve song, twelve songs on Monsum, and eleven songs on Monsum. Well, there's a hidden track at the end, the "You Break Me" piano version. <laughs> all I need now, all I need now. Is the Orange Room EP and Spinning Man, but with Spinning Man, I totally understand because Ed Ed doesn't want many people hearing that or owning that CD. Yeah, Spinning Man, because it's a demo CD and is I think it's crap, Spinning Man, and the best songs from Spinning Man is on the Orange Room EP, which is more mixed and and that yeah, yes, Want Some by Ed Sheeran right here. 
I, all I need is pretty much the orange room EP and yeah, I'm spinning man. And on to the next next one. Next one is Sounds of the East Coast 2, which features the song Ed Sheeran Saturday. Ed Sheeran Saturday right there here. And I only know one person who owns this CD. His link will be in the description of this channel. Uh, it's, it's called Calcium Music. Check his channel out. He he is also he's also started his own YouTube channel. Shouts to you, Calcium. He he's is a proud owner of this as well. Sounds of the East Coast too, and he is also a Ed Sheeran collector as well. Only he's got that Ed Sheeran Saturday. I love I love it. <laughs> yeah. He said that there's only 20 copies of this ever made. I bet most of them are in Suffolk. Yes. Maybe all the bands have a copy of the CD. Maybe Ed has a copy of the CD. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, here is Sounds of the East Coast 2 right here. One of the most rarest. Well, including once some, an Ed Sheeran self-titled album as well. What's next on the, on the list? Well, now we're going to go on the five EPs now from Ed, the original, well, with the, well, this is pretty much the re-release cover, sadly, but I have got the original disc. I've said it, well, I don't, you can't, you guys can't see it properly, but it says Sheer and Lock there, Sheer and Lock, Sheer and Lock. Uni Meet EP, the studio version of Uni Meet EP, not the acoustic version, but the studio got the drums and all that in Uni Meet EP. Ed Sheeran, Uni Meet EP. And also, to prove it is, it's got a black, it's got a black, yeah, not on the, not on the re-release. I just love that black bloody thing. Where you put your CD up. That means it's pretty much the original. As on the re release, on the re releases, it's a normal disc thingy. And Loose Change. Loose Change EP. Oh, yes. Loose Change EP right here. Loose Change. Which features the A Team. Features featuring the A Team right there, first track of the Loose Change by Sheeran Luck, the original copy of Loose Change. I want to get the disc out. Yeah, I love this so much. Sheeran Luck right there. Yeah, it is a, it, the original. The only difference with the original and the re release is the A Team is on the original and. It doesn't have Let It Out on it. The reason why is because Let It Out was originally released on a promo CD right here. I just don't want to take it out. Let It Out promo CD right here. Let It Out. Oh, oh, oh. Let It Out promo CD. Yes, I love this a lot. I only know a few people who's owning the CD right here. Let It Out promo CD. And this is the before the re-releases. This is the only way to have let it out. Pretty much, yes. And also the next CD is songs I wrote with with songs I wrote with Amy. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. I see it under Yes, here we go. Like songs I wrote with Amy with um which Ed wrote with Amy Watch. Plus has vocals with Ledra Chapman Chapman as well. Back in vocals with Ed on the songs as well. I love all the songs from all of his EPs, and it's pretty. It's pretty much the same as the re-release versions, which I'm not bothered. But it has Sheer and Luck at the bottom there. Sheer and Luck, and all the discs are different as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to take. The, the re-release version, the re-release, the original version of songs I wrote with Amy with sheer and luck at the bottom there. Yes, and one of my personal favourites, personal favourites, we have got Live at the Bedford. 
DVD and CD right here. I actually won this on the Ed Sheeran Maiden Suffolk Legacy Auction. Also, it's got Ed's autograph. Where is it? It's there. I hate the lighting. It's it sucks. It sucks, y'all. I'll show you the look at that DVD. DVD and CD. Look at that beauty. Wow. I'm so proud that I'm so proud to own this own this DVD and CD. Signed by Ed himself. Live at the Bedford EP. I recorded at the Bedford Ball in London on Sunday the 17th of October 2010. And also my personal favourite Ed Sheeran song of all time called We Are is on this, on the DVD version. We Are. Lit Truck, number eight on the set list of Live at, Live at the Bedford Pub, right there. And this is the only time We Are was ever on, ever, was on this very DVD right here. So this is one of my personal favorites, Live at the Bedford. But I love all of, all of my CDs, what I've got so far. Yes, my collection's almost done. That is that is mind boggling. Live at the Bedford EP right there. And also the last last EP is number five collaborations projects, which is amazing. Number five collaborations projects. Pretty much like the same slot in disc as Live at the Bedford. Yeah. Wow. Cheering a lot. This is pretty much the CD what got Ed signed. Well, a record label was at uh, Live at the Bedford EP, Live at the Bedford Pub. Yes, I love it. And also, this isn't a CD, but this is still also rare. Is I got the Ed Sheeran Made in Suffolk Legacy Auction book. <laughs> this <laughs> that I. Well, I actually did bid on it on eBay. I, I had to get it. I was wanting this. Because I just love the book itself. I got it on here and it's like, here we go. That's what, oops, that's what I won. Live at the Bedford CD and DVD right there. Donated by his mum and dad. And also, they donated songs I wrote with Amy, Loose Change, number five collaboration project. The only... You know they're they're all signed and I I like that this is the first time that I ever saw this on ever sold ever on eBay on the internet itself yes on the on the internet so I'm like I need I need I need this rare CD and DVD I always wanted to own it and live at the Bedford. DVD, the DVD. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, yeah. The DVD copy of it. I should move on to his rare alternative versions of his albums now. I can't put it back in. Yeah, I'm going to do the rare versions of his albums. Firstly, we'll go, of course, plus the first studio album by Ed on a record label. Um, Atlantic Records, Asylum Records. Yeah, the Australian version of Plus. This is, in my opinion, this is so rare. I always wanted to own this DVD and CD, just like with Live at the Bedford. But I'm like, wow. It, all, it features Ed at the Shepherd's Bush Empire in 2011. And, and it's weird because this is an Australian deluxe version with the DVD. <laughs> I'm surprised this wasn't available like in the UK, but it was only available in Australia. Australia, good aim out. CD. I'm gonna pop it out, I forgot. It's been a while. Set it there, no. I forgot to pop it out. Pop it out. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh. And here is the DVD right here. Concept DVD live from O2 Shepherd's Bush Empire 
London or are the touring crews and that on camera yeah the Australian deluxe version also I just love I always wanted this as well the Japanese version of plus with an alternative cover of Ed sticking his tongue out instead of the you know, like Photoshop plus like this here you can see more of Ed with this with his hoodie hi with his tongue out I love it and also at the back it's Ed and a cat we all know Ed loves his cats an alternative back cover as well and I love I with the Japanese albums I just love like the Japanese spine here <laughs> yeah and also with all the Japanese there Kenichiwa Kenichiwa yeah I just love it and in the, that is the reason why I haven't opened it because of this spine here yeah I love it so much and also for the plus era uh, we've got give me love promo CD which I've got back in March give me love promo CD just give me love on it the radio version without without the parting glass give me love radio version on this promo CD which I love a lot yeah and it's pretty rare to find out. I think I always wanted to get this. The only the only promo CD slash single CD from Plus is Small Bump. Now I know it exists. Exists. I need it now. <laughs> and I'm going going on Multiply now. Here we are on Multiply now. Yes, here's the first one. The first French deluxe version from Multiply, which has two CDs, and as the original normal version on the first disc and the second disc which features everything you are friends sing live con radio concert i'm a mess live on light ship 95 and don't remix featuring rick ross sick yes in the second multiply french edition which came out in 2015 which reaches the original normal track list from the normal version and then you got Sing featuring Sai, Sing Sai remix, Rioff, Nick Few featuring Ed Sheeran, that is a bop of a song. Lay It All On Me, Rudimental featuring Ed Sheeran, Photograph, Felix Gian remix, Sing Deezer Session and Thinking Out Loud Deezer Session. I love this one because of the, I just love them all, but I don't know, but they're all both different, if you know what I mean, because it has different collabs on it. Yes, like Rick Ross side. Yes. And also, with the most player, got Bloodstream promo CD, which features the rudimental and Ed Sheeran radio edit and Bloodstream. And Ed Sheeran Bloodstream radio edit, just the normal version, radio version. Bloodstream, which I got around the same time as the Give Me Love one. Yeah, and you know, let's go on straight onto the divide now, as this is pretty much the only rare divide CD which I have got, and it includes the original 16 songs from Divide, and it also includes Shape of You, Live at Taratata, Castle on a Hill, Live at Taratata, and Supermarket Flowers, Live at Taratata, as well. And I know that Ed, yeah. Last year, Ed watched my CD collection as of last year, and yes, Live at Taratata. And <laughs> I've only got a few more CDs to collect in my collection, and I've pretty much done. Or if Ed drops, which he will later on this year, subtracts or equals, hmm, which might be both of them, might be one of them. I would love to own the Orange Room EP, so that the original copy. But maybe Spinning Man, but I understand with Ed, he doesn't want many people owning it or hearing it because of how crap it is, which is so understandable because why would you want some, like, why would you want the world listening to something that you're not happy with? And, which I totally understand that. So pretty much, I just need to own Orange Room, the Orange Room EP, yes, and yeah, and if you guys enjoyed this video, 
my, my most rarest Ed Sheeran CDs. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.